what is up everybody how the heck are you today we got a pretty simple little shoe composite action coming at you geared towards the beginners and we're gonna really really break things down today i'm going to explain every little thing and very fortunately there's not that many things it's a 22 minute video but we're basically doing five freaking things so i really want to make sure that if you have very little experience in photoshop that this makes sense and that everything is explained in a way that you can work with so the first thing we want to do is we're going to pretend that you don't even have photoshop open if you don't have any experience with photoshop why would you be sitting around with photoshop open so we're going to open Photoshop and I'm going to do that by hitting command spacebar and that's going to give me a search. I typed in PH, PH, give me Photoshop 2020. Now it's going to do this little thing and we're going to get this window here. It's going to show you recent stuff and I'm going to hit open on the right here and I want, I want to open this image. Now you can find this image. This is a photograph that I took many years ago. I was just doing some testing. But you can download this photo right now if you go to the link in the description. You'll see a link to my Patreon and you can just download this file and just put it to your desktop and you know open this sucker up. And you hit check open or just hit return. And it should open this image. Now there's a couple things we're going to be using today. One of the most important things that we're going to be using and one of the most important things that anyone can really use in Photoshop is layer masks, right? So what is a layer mask and how do I use layer masks and how do layer masks work? Well, first we have to go over here to our layers palette. If you don't have your layers palette showing, go to window and make sure that layers is checked. And that should bring this up and generally it comes with layers, channels, and paths. We're not going to deal with either of these today, just the layers. Now along the bottom of the layers palette in this little, this little beautiful gray or light gray depending upon how you have your Photoshop configured, along the bottom we have a bunch of little doodles, right? We've got this little FX, we have this thing that kind of looks like a camera or it's a rectangle with a circle, we have a black and white cookie, we have a folder, and we have a plus. Just real quickly, I want to explain what each of these do. So going from the right, we see plus. This just makes a new layer, right? Super simple, makes a new layer. And I'm doing Command Z to undo that, get rid of that. What the next thing does is we group layers into a folder. So let's say I've got these three layers and I hold down Shift and I just select on the side here. I can hit this and I can group them into a layer sorry, into a folder, and they will all be in there. The next thing is the black and white cookie. This is your best friend, and these are called adjustment layers. So for right now, what we want to be looking at is just this little green sneak sneaker with the little green background all by himself in this layer menu. We have a green background here. So, you know, if you've ever you know, seeing how they shoot movies, even though now they're doing, you know, all this like crazy LED screen. But, you know, six months ago before that was a thing, everything was shot on green paper, right? Or green background. So how do we get the green out? Well, it's not that hard, actually. The best way to do it when you have a solid kind of color like this, the best way to pull a solid color out is to go up here to select. And you see this guy, this is called color range. So we go to select color range and it's going to bring up this, this little window. And we have a little color picker here. We've got these two sliders and we've got this color picker. Now if I color pick on the shoe in the little window here or in the, on the actual shoe itself, you'll see what's happening in this little window. What it's doing is it's trying to grab everything that is of that same exact tone that I just grabbed. So if I click over here in the green, I'm noticing that it's, well, it's it's not really grabbing everything here. It's a little dark over here. So if I hold down shift and I start grabbing around or just even on this little window in the, in the preview, I can just select on these areas and see that now they have all become white 
and that's going to be the area of our selection mask. And as okay, well, what's uh, what's this fuzziness and what's this range? Well, the range we generally want to leave turned all the way up, but the fuzziness is going to really, you know, you see kind of what it's doing there. It's really blending that selection, and we kind of want to be somewhere. We don't want it to start pulling out the shoe. You see that it's bleeding into the shoe and then this is kind of undoing our selection somewhere right in the middle where it looks kind of crisp and we're just going to very simply hit okay and now what we have on the screen here is we see we've got our kind of uh, moving marquee tool and what it's done is it's selected just this green area so okay now what do we do we just hit delete well sure you could just hit delete but then what happens if you know, you hit delete, but it accidentally, there's a little part of it that it's selected that maybe you didn't want to, you've hit delete, it's gone. We don't want to work that way. We don't, we want to work non-destructively. So the best way to work non-destructively is to use layer masks. Everybody likes layer masks. All the kids are doing it. So if you go to the bottom of our palette over here, we go back to our little guys on the bottom and back to the little camera one, the rectangle with the circle right here. If I hit layer mask, uh-oh, where's my shoe? Oh, no. Right? If we're in the layers palette and we see if I tap on the mask, if I tap on the actual little the image here, we can affect both of these things. Now, you want to be careful if you're painting in a layer mask or whatever, just make sure you're on the right layer. So what we're going to do here, because this is the inverse, if we just go command I or it would be image adjust invert as opposed to if we inverted this actual image and hit command I we get some weird shit like this and this is inverting the colors command I with black and white it just does this because the way that layer masks work is that everything that's black in this little window here gets dropped out everything that's white becomes visible so if I wanted to, you know, add or change and I, you know, delete or even add back in, all I would have to do is paint with black or white on this layer and I can have, you know, I can have my way with it, either removing or bringing back. So layer mask, let's do that just one more time super fast. So I'm going to right click on this layer mask. I'm going to delete this layer mask and get back to my naked image. And we're going to go image, sorry, select, he he he, color range. And we're going to click on an area, holding down the shift key, just kind of click in the other areas that we want and then hit OK. Play with your fuzziness but this this looks about right now we have this we want to add a layer mask so there is i said there was another way to do that if i wanted to invert this selection right now before i create the layer mask i would do that by hitting command shift and i and that's invert selection so you can either invert your selection now or you can invert the image uh, that's on the layer mask later and Photoshop is great. There's always 20 ways to, you know, get get to where you're going. For right now, we're just going to hit layer mask and then I'm going to do command I and that's going to give me this. All right, cool. Good job, Dan. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this polygon lasso tool. You can get that by hitting L or shift L will cycle through the different lasso tools that you have. But the polygon lasso tool is the one we want right now. Now we're just going to start up here and the way that you use the polygon lasso tool is you just click then move your mouse click again to set the next point and so on and so forth now this little area over here we're going to get it a little close just up to that kind of shadow I'm zooming in and out also, hitting Command plus and Command minus. And if I want to navigate around the document, I hold the space bar and it get automatically will give me the move tool. But for right now, 
we're just selecting around here until we come to a complete circle and now we have this selected now as we talked about before if we want to invert this selection which we do because we don't want to delete this shoe we want to do the area around that so if I hit shift command I that's going to invert the selection and the way that we can always tell is that if we look at the edges we see that that marquee tool is now active in that area and I'll go to the back to the layers palette and I'm looking here at this guy and like all right well there's my layers palette how do I layer mask off what I've got my selection here well we just want to fill it in with black so command delete and what that does is that if we look over here in our foreground and background over here follow the mouse we see that it's black and white and by hitting this little arrow back and forth we can change these so if I wanted to use the foreground color to fill this in I would hit option delete or if I wanted to use the background color I would hit command delete and you know using the appropriate color so now what I've done if you look in the layers palette here well this all looks pretty black all right we have a pretty basic cutout of our shoe here that was actually super easy so we want to remove this selection right we don't we don't need this anymore so we're going to deselect by hitting command D now we've got this shoe. All right, let's make a new layer. And how do we do that? Up across the bottom of our layers palette here, we've got the little plus, we've got our folders, we've got all our buddies, and you guessed it, it's the plus. So we see that always gonna make a layer above where we were. So if we want to adjust that, it's just the easiest thing to just hold down on that layer, move this layer down. So we want to fill it in with black. And if you ever want to go back to the default of black and white, very easy. Just hit this little buddy right here, and this will bring you back to default. Cool. So how do we fill that this solid layer with nothing selected and with black? We hit option and delete. Option and delete. Now we've got this shoe on a black background. Well, we want to make a little bit different composition so I want this to be much taller right we're gonna show this reflection here so if we just go into the crop tool hello mr. crop tool or you could just hit C on your keyboard and dragging from this lower part here I'm just gonna go about that much we can always change this later but for right now that's what we got I want to Again, we're going to fill this in with black. So just clicking on this layer and hitting Option Delete will fill the entire layer with black. So I think what we want to do is I'm going to take what I have in the layer mask here because it looks okay. I think I don't think I've lost anything. If anything, I need to mask more out. And I'm going to do one one of two things that we're going to do. One because we want to be able to always go back. God forbid. We totally screw it up. We're like, oh my God, I don't have that layer anymore. We're going to duplicate this layer. And you can right click on this and go to duplicate layer. Sorry that that's cropped off. And just hit OK. Or you can just hit Command J. Personally, Command J all day. So now we have this duplicated. I'm just going to turn this one off and we're going to work with this one. So I'm going to right click on this layer mask and I'm going to hit apply layer mask and you see what happens in our layers palette here there's no more mask there's no more green it's a just a shoe now I know this is gonna seem counterintuitive but we're gonna add now that we've deleted that layer mask we're gonna add another layer mask to this same same layer right here I'm gonna hit on this little rectangular with the circle on it and it gives us a, f a fresh and shiny new layer mask in our layers palette on that particular layer. So what we want to do is by holding down command, right? And if I'm tapping command over my layers palette, look what it does. It brings up this little kind of marquee icon. And that indicates that if I use this now, it's going to be selecting some stuff. 
right so now I just selected this stuff right here it just pretty much grabs this entire shape perfectly now we want to kind of you know just do a little shift here and one thing that we can do in Photoshop very easily is we can just contract this selection very slightly you know make it just a little bit smaller so we're gonna go to select modify and contract now this image doesn't have a ton of pixels so one pixel in a small image like this covers a fair amount of ground right if this was an absolutely massive image we might want to consider two pixels or four pixels or you know whatever makes sense for for what's going on here but for our current purposes right now one hit OK and then we just want to feather this just the tiniest little bit so we're gonna go back here select modify again same little window and hit feather and we're just gonna do 0.5 we don't want it to be too blurry on the edges, that'll look unnatural, but too little, maybe it's going to look a little cut out. So just for this image, for this size, 0.5, hit OK, and OK. So now making sure that we're on the layer mask portion in this window here, we have to invert this selection, right? Because right now we have the shoe selected, but we want to paint on the outside. So we do Shift, Command, I, and we can just fill this layer mask in here with black. I'm going to hit Command H first to hide the selection so we can see what happens. And just looking here, Command Delete, and it just takes all that away. So now we're going to do Command D, and we're going to make our uh, selection basically go bye bye. Now, with the lasso tool, with the polygonal lasso tool, you can hit L, cycle through them by holding Shift L. Shift L, right? See, there we go. There's three of them. Hey, guys. We're good down here. Polygon lasso tool. We're just gonna in this area where you see it gets the shadow. The where the kind of the light meets the shadow. We're gonna just stay in the shadow and very lightly and very easily. Well you don't have to do lightly, just click. Click like you mean it. And we're just gonna make a selection around all this, right? And we're gonna go on our layer mask and with option and delete. You know, assuming that you've got a black selected in your foreground, we're just going to fill it in with black. And that gives us, you know, we got a shoe. It's cut out. It's fine. Now, is 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 this perfect? No. It, really, we'd want to retouch this shoe. There's a lot of little blemishes and little inconsistencies we can smooth out and make this look gorgeous. But that's another video for another day. For today, we just want to get a composition kind of kind of on the books here and the very easiest way to do this is we want to duplicate this layer you can either right click here and hit duplicate layer or you can hit command J and I'm gonna command T for transform and I'm gonna hold down control click on the image you know inside of these little blue buddies and I'm going to flip vertical Oh, I probably should have done it to the underneath one. So do the underneath one, or you can drag it down. But now we've got this guy in the back. Let's zoom out a little bit with Command minus. Let's just find a good spot for this. I mean, wherever. Let's just bring that opacity down. It's just, it's really just this simple. And there you have it, right? If you if you were so inclined, you could make a new layer underneath everything, and with a giant soft brush, and maybe pick out kind of a light color, just paint in maybe an indicator of some background. And I'm just tapping, I'm just tapping with a big round brush, and then just lower the opacity on that. You don't need too much, and you know, season to taste, and make it would look like whatever you want. And I've kind of got that there like that. And that's a very subtle, very small thing on this its own layer here. So we can always turn the opacity up here down. Our best friend opacity. And that's it. So you can you can see how actually easy this was. This was basically five steps, right? We used color range to pull this green out of the original photo. We cleaned up the selection a little bit using feather and contract and the select modify kind of little menu there. Right, and we, once we had that, we just duplicated this sucker, flipped it upside down, scooched it down a little bit, and dropped the opacity down. Basically five steps, and you're there. 
it took 23 minutes to explain them but now that you know it you could probably do this whole piece in about two or three minutes uh, at least that's my hope so anyway guys if you enjoyed the video consider liking commenting subscribing and i hope you have a great day one love